Welcome to Your Anime Senpais. I'm Richard, and today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Sword Art Online Season 1, Episode 20. Uh, so now we're down to the last five episodes. Last episode, we had Leafa and Kirito. They were making their way to the World Tree when they got attacked by a group of the Salamander faction. Uh, from there, they gained some information. They learned that... Um, the salamanders were attacking them because they didn't want them interfering with their big plan which come to find out was to attack this peace conference between two other factions one of which was Lipa's former faction and so uh, now they have to turn back and, uh, and stop this uh, salamander attack from happening so let's see what they can do Yeah, I was gonna say you just fly. You can just fly. It's okay. <laughs> I wonder if they gain experience from those creatures like just dying. Oh, did I make it to the world tree? Okay, so Okay, so I thought my mistake. I thought last episode the peace talks were going to take place in her I guess now former um former territory. So I been thinking about it, they did say neutral place, so that wouldn't make any sense. But I um, I guess it's kind of convenient though that the meeting is taking place on the same path that they need to take to get to the world tree. So, um, so I guess time isn't as urgent right now, but it's still, I mean, he still has like less than a week to, to get to Asana and he still has a long way to go. And this is not going to help at all whatsoever. But, um, but yeah, I do think that's kind of convenient. It's like, oh, well, while we're on the way there, let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, uh, prevent this war from happening. No big deal. So, anyways. Neutral territory. Hey, at least you tried, though. 68 players. Wow. Fifty seconds? Man. Well, don't just friggin' give up. We already had this talk. We already had this talk. Yeah, he's not, he's, he's gonna help you out regardless. Like, how did you guys not see this happening? Unless this was supposed to be a secret meeting of some kind. But, what? Oh, Kirito, I guess. Yeah, figures. How do they get around them? How do they not see them? Mm. 
Why? Who cares? Let's just blast them. Uh, that's what I've been like. I've been like, who cares about this guy? Just, just blast them. No big deal. No, what? Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about a bluff. <laughs> oh, this is good, actually. Very good. Oh, and they don't have the little scouter things, too, do they? Like they did in Sword Art. Oh, well, I guess that's going to be... Uh, I guess that's going to be a title he's going to lose here in just a minute. It's interesting, too, how they both have kind of the same fighting style because they both use swords, a single sword. Ooh, ooh, oh wow, oh wow. So in other words, he's just gonna have to dodge. Has it not been 30 seconds yet? Yeah, exactly. Oh, of course. Yeah, but he's got better equipment, yeah. And he doesn't have his, he doesn't have his old skills either. Unless he uses illusion, that's like his, oh, dang. Yikes. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, he's black smoke. Got it. Oh, he stole her sword. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's going to deal wield. He's going to deal with that deal wield. That's was right? That's the way he's got the other sword. Well, you did try to use the blinding attack on him too. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Dual wielding. That's his specialty. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, of course. Did he kill him? T 
Take a sword too, that'd be great. Wow. Very flashy. But, uh, you know. Um... Wow. Really? Really? <laughs> They're like, yeah, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> They're not even scared, although this isn't life or death, but you know. Take his sword. Not, not, not her sword, but the other guy's sword. Unless it just disappears with him. Right? Hey, friends. I feel like this is kind of a waste, though. Like, they were planning on doing this. And it's like... They've already had this plan set up. And he's going to go back to his brother. And I, I feel like his brother is going to be really peeved about the fact that he just kind of gave up. Although he might be interested in the fact that there's somebody of his younger brother's um, caliber in terms of fighting. So, I don't know. That might be uh, a silver lining there. But I can't imagine this guy coming back to his, uh, to his older brother and being like, Yeah, we had our forces there, but uh, I lost a one-on-one -on -one duel and I decided just to fly back. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out. Okay. So you can switch part, uh, switch. Hmm. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, it's too late, dude. Ha <laughs> But up, up, but up, up. Oh, you're kicked out. Your leader has stripped you of rights as a... Oh, boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, now he's a renegade, right? Because he's no longer part of their faction. So, maybe he'll he'll be the one to gather all the other um, renegades to, to fight. To fight everyone, I guess. Yeah, I feel like this is going to bite you, come back and bite you.
Oh, yeah, about that whole ambassador thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep. Back to Asuka. Wonder if she's figure out a way to, uh, or what she's gonna do once she gets out, because she's got the way to get out. But oh, is she gonna try now? Run! Run right now! Don't have a monologue. Just go. Just freaking go. Don't uh, don't stand there. Just go. I wonder if she could just jump. All right, episode twenty is done. Uh, gonna gonna give it two thumbs up. Just for the fact that dual wielding is back. So, yeah, get it. Two thumbs up. Dual wielding. Dual wielding. Okay, so. Anyways, uh, but yeah, very, very good fight. I really enjoyed it. I still don't quite understand how they managed to get in front of the salamanders. But whatever, I guess. Um, with, with, without the salamanders noticing. Like, I, I would have figured somebody would have been like, hey, there's someone right there. And they're about ready to... Uh, you know, go get in front of us, but whatever. Um, that's kind of just nitpicky, though, because, again, I really did enjoy this episode. Uh, I, I did appreciate the fact that uh, Kirito was pretty outmatched, at least in terms of his gear. So he definitely had to kind of think outside the box a little bit there using his, I guess, it's, was it illusion magic that he used, or was it just a, like a smoke screen, which is just another type of magic that his race has I uh, didn't really explain it that much um, I mean I'm good either way either way I, you know it just makes sense because uh, his his abilities kind of remind me like of a like a rogue type character like from D&D &D or something so um, I can I can buy it it makes sense but um, but yeah I did enjoy that fight I I don't know if um, I'm not sure if the salamanders should have just given it up that easy uh of course you know maybe i'm just kind of taking this a little too seriously maybe uh just because i mean they've already made these plans and it's like you know we're here already i, I mean might as well just go ahead and capitalize i'm not forget about this whole dueling thing let's just get in there and do what we need to do because you know we need we're, we're trying to fight for our faction and uh, you know get to the top of the world tree or whatever so um, so them just kind of like, oh, okay, well, that was a great fight. So, yeah, I'll just go home. I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite buying that, but, uh, I would also think too, that there might be some consequences for that guy, for the, for the, uh, general or whatever. Uh, when he gets back and tells his brother like, Hey, yeah, so things didn't go quite the way that we had planned just because of the fact that some dude came up and, uh, came out of nowhere and just beat me. So... Sorry. Yeah, I feel like the brother would just be like, well, why are you here? Go go back and... I mean, it's probably too late now. It doesn't matter. But <laughs> I, I would think, though, he would just be like, well, why did you just come back here, you know? But whatever, I guess. Um, I guess this, too, also could kind of go with my theory that uh, eventually all the different factions and guilds or whatever will have to come together and beat the World Tree together uh rather than just trying to you know do this all separately so i guess we got another five episodes to figure out so let's see what happens but uh regardless uh oh uh one other thing too of course the last thing was asana she's out um with her leaving potentially she'll meet up with kyoto that much faster uh i just I don't know about Mr. Creeper guy. You don't know what he might have done. He may have put a, like a tracer on her or something. Uh, although it's really hard to tell because 
sometimes it, he seems to be smart, but sometimes he just he's too arrogant, I guess, too. So maybe he just might be like, oh yeah, she's never gonna leave. So we'll see. Um, I would, at the very least, I would think that he would have like some sort of um, security. You know, obviously he had some kind of security on, on his on the cage there, but. I would think that the, maybe there might be something there to, that would uh, alert him to uh, if uh, if the cage opened up while he wasn't there or something like that, you know. So, of course, then he would actually have to go in, dive back in, and try to capture Asuna again. And also, Asuna, uh, she, she's out now, but who knows how much of this world she knows. Like, can she, uh, can she fly? I think I talked about this last episode, but... Uh, can she fly? Can she use any magic at all? Uh, I would think that she probably doesn't have that much knowledge about this world, so it's probably going to be kind of difficult for her to move around. I think I mentioned at the at the end of this episode that maybe she could just jump off the side and just fly away, but again, does she even know how to fly? So uh, probably not. But uh, at least that she's out, and um, you know, that's the good news. The bad news is we're probably going to see Mr. Creeper again next episode. So. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So what did you guys think of this episode? And uh, what did you think of the return of dual wielding? Let us know down in the comments below. And of course, if you like this reaction and like what we do, please consider hitting like and subscribing to our channel. And also be sure to check out the Patreon links down below. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next episode.